What got me into art? Well, uh, ever since I was little, I loved to draw, and um, I seemed to be pretty good at it. Couldn't think of anything else I really wanted to do, and so I just, I just um, decided that's what I wanted to do. And I, I every opportunity, I, I was drawing. Uh, why did I study art? Art was something I, I really loved to do. It was kind of interesting. I, my, my, uh, I used to draw in church. And uh, one day a lady, I, I was really little, I don't know, maybe four or five, and a lady leans over to my mom and says, your son is really good. And uh, my mom would tell me that story, and it's just one I remembered. Uh, so I think, you know, it's something I loved and something I was good at. You know, how was my college experience? Well, let's, let's go back even further. Um, I had, I had uh, some really great art teachers just in junior high and high school. Uh, junior high had a really good art teacher, taught us a lot about perspective, color, um, figure drawing, uh, just uh, lots, of, lots of different basic stuff. And then in high school, I uh, had art for three years and, and had a really great teacher there as well, where we, I just expanded on some of those things. Um, in college, it's kind of funny because, you know, you can go from being like one of the best people in school and then you go to you go to college and all of a sudden every you're competing with everybody else who is the best in their school. In college, you, you go from being the best, you were, you know, one of the one of the best, the, one of the top two or three artists in, you know, in your high school, you and then you, you go to college, be, in my case BYU, and <laughs> and I'm with all of the other kids that were the top one, two or three in their in their high school. Well, it's 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 a whole different world because uh, there there's a lot of really really good artists that I was I was competing with, and a lot of them were a lot better than me. But I just had I had a passion that it's what I wanted to do, and uh, so I, I had a lot of really great classes, a lot of really great, great teachers, um, and uh, have a blast. What was my first job as an artist? Well. <laughs> In high school, I, I actually did some oil paintings and actually sold a couple of them. I, I, I don't know if that's a, that's not really a job. Probably the first job as me being an artist where they paid me was uh, in in college at BYU. I was uh, an illustrator for the newspaper, the Daily Universe, for a few years there when I was going to going to school, and uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. How did I juggle both a family and a career? Uh, <laughs> well, that's that's always a, a fun question to answer. Um, I remember at times uh, we didn't have all these fancy schmancy computers when I first went to illustration. I really uh, started using an airbrush and did a lot of airbrushing. I remember many times I'd be holding a baby on one lap and I'd have my airbrush in the other in the, on the, in the other, other hand, and I was I was airbrushing. And when you have a family, you give something up. Well, I also love music, and I gave up playing guitar for a, for quite a long time because of my family, because I was making money, you know, with with art, and uh, I was taking care of my family and, and taking care of my kids. How much money did I make at uh, my first job? And I made minimum wage. Back then, minimum wage was like I don't know, four twenty-five an hour or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, but you got to remember, gasoline was 25 cents a gallon. So, so, so you know, just compare it. Just be, just compare it. You know, 25 cents a gallon compared to was it now two bucks a gallon? It was like almost four dollars just a couple of years ago. You compare that. You know, 4.25 wasn't too bad. Question is, did I ever see myself being an artist when I was a little kid? And I, I, I think I've answered that. Yeah, it's just something I always wanted to do, something I love to do. Um, and in fact, I was an artist when I was a little kid. You know, anybody need any art, they would come to me. They'd say, "Hey, man, we need you to do this logo for our little fun group." Or, or uh, they'd come to me just before school started and say, "Hey, I did school yesterday, and I need you to write me a note for my mom, from my mom. And here's how you say, here's what I want it to say, and then you sign it because." And I was a good artist, but I had really great handwriting, which really helped me in creating logos and stuff like that. And so, um, I, they, they loved me. I, I, I was, that was probably the worst thing I did in, in high school was I forged notes from parents, from kids' moms.
<laughs> so there you go. But the question is, uh, is there anything I look forward to in, in art, new technologies or whatever? And um, you know, I do computer animation and I, uh, on you know high-end systems and using state-of-the-art computers, state-of-the-art uh, 3D, 3D graphics. And um, I, I just look look forward to. I don't know. If I look forward to a lot of new stuff because there's so much that comes out. I, I I know a lot about the the programs I use, but I'm barely scratching the surface. You know. I have to learn something new every single day, it seems like, to stay on top of it. Um, I'm getting older, I'm, uh, I'm going to be 59 this year, and so uh, uh, if, I don't, if I don't stay on top of it, you know, there's going to be some young kids just going to come by and phew, bull right over me and, and, and take over where, you know, <laughs> where I left off. So yeah, I, it's, it's, I, I, just, I look forward just to learning new, new stuff because there's always new things coming out. The advice I'd give for somebody who wants to become an artist or start a career is, um, well, there's, there's, there's four or five things that, when, when I was hiring, when I was working at a, a 3D company and we, we built models, there was like four things that I really looked at for somebody they wanted to hire. One, of, one is, of course, they needed to have some artistic ability. They needed to be able to, to draw something so they, they could understand the form of something. How, how things were supposed to look. The other, the other one um, was, you know, uh, maybe to a lesser degree, is what skills do they have? You know, what do they know what buttons to push to make to make things um, to, to actually create? You know, the third thing I would look at is, you know, what's their personality? You know, can I get along with these people? Are they a, you know, are they a prima donna or are they somebody who can work as a team? And the last one was. I can't remember what the last one was. Maybe it's just those three. <laughs> one more thing about uh, advice I'd give to somebody is, um, if you get a job, even if it's a low paying job or it's not a very good client, always, always do the best you can do. Uh, if you don't, it'll come back on you. Who knows, this person you, you do something for, maybe later on they, they get a job where they've got a bigger budget or they've got uh, you know, a, a cooler client to work with. And, so, and they'll get back to you. There's one guy that I work with, and uh, and uh, when I first started working with him, we were just doing some little things. But now he's uh, he's got ties with Nintendo and Disney, and every once in a while, I get to work on some projects for some of these guys. And so it's really exciting. So always do the best work you can, and, and try to be pleasant and, and uh, meet deadlines. Uh, do your best to meet deadlines. If you don't. They may not use you again, even though you might be better than somebody else, because they've got a, you know, they have a deadline, you know, when they have to get something out.